Hey guys, it's Vic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to purchase and set up your sorters. It's a pretty easy process, so if you go into my store here, you'll see this area right here. You've got step one, step two, and step three. Uh, the steps are easy. You just purchase a sorter, register, and then there's a playlist to show you how a bunch of other stuff works. All right, so step one is you purchase the sorters. So I click pay, and you get the sorter delivered. Step two is to register for the website. You click there, and if you've never registered before, you'll just see done or register. So you go ahead and click register, and it puts in local, a temporary password for you and your username. So go ahead and copy the temporary password. Make sure when you do that, that you don't copy either of the uh, apostrophes on either side. You can go ahead and click on the link right here, and you go to the website. So first thing you do is you click members area. It'll ask you to log in. When you're logging in for the first time, it will ask you to change your password. So you select, you put in your username and the password, log in. It'll tell you to change your password. So you put the old password and type in your new password. Then do it again. And then update. And then it'll ask you to log in again, and this will be using your new password. So, and log in. Now you're on the members area here. Shows you your store credit. Everyone gets 100 store credit to begin with. Then we're going to go ahead and set up your free crates that come with the sorters. So you just go ahead and go to DFS stuff, and then crate purchasing. There's two themes available from me, VMD and VMD pick. We'll start with VMD, select theme, click get starter crates, and you'll see right here you get there's 74 crates you get. It costs 740 lindens, but you get a discount of 740 lindens, so it's free. So you go ahead and purchase the crates, and then refresh list, and still at 100 credit. And then we're going to go ahead and change themes over to VMD pick, select theme, same process, get starter crates, 74, 740, purchase crates, refresh list and store credit is still 100, so that was free. In another video, I'll show you how to actually purchase crates for uh, new ones that you don't have the textures for, but that will be in another video. All right, so for setting up your sorters, it's really simple. You just res out your sorter, you res out the, sorry, res out the box that you got delivered, click it to unpack, and you'll have a folder that has a bunch of stuff here. You've got the README, which gives you a link to the website. And on the website, you can come right here to the manuals and click on the modular sorter. And there's an entire manual right here. Shows you how the sorters work. All right. So then there's a couple boxes here. You can kind of ignore them. You don't need them unless you're updating your sorters. If you just purchase them, you won't have to do that. Um, in the sorters extra box, though. Um, there is an item some people like, so I'll go ahead and open that up so you can see. There is the animal reser here that people like that reses your animals in a circle. So, then these boxes you can ignore. Then you'll have an update crystal. It'll be one or two depending on the version of the sorter. Um, this last version didn't require an update to the box script, so there's just one for the main scripts, but there might be two crystals. Um, you can ignore those for a new setup. Those are just for if you're going from an old sorter to the new sorters. So then you also got your sorter HUD, which is right here. I'm wearing it. It gives you options. You can send commands to all your sorters at once. So let's go to the sorter setup. So you go ahead and you res out a top prim. When, when you first res out a sorter, it'll give you link permissions for two times. You always say yes to both link permissions. I'm going to go ahead and res out three sorters total because I'll show you the kind of the minimum setup I recommend. And then you say yes and yes, and then one more. Yes and yes. Okay. So now I'm going to arrange my sorters so they're uh, somewhat neat here. So align all. Oh. Lined up here, kind of centered. 
move them over a little bit so they're spaced out. All right. So the first thing you should do when you put out a sorter after accepting link permissions, of course, is you name the sorter. So I, uh, to name it, you click on admin and then name. I'm going to name this one demo harvest. You can see the name has now appeared above it. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. So admin name demo processed submit and then this one admin name demo reduced uses all right so i recommend always having a reduced use sorter which is where you can put things that aren't a full use like say you use one use of flour you can put the extra ones there that makes it nice for number one with your cooking if you use my hub you don't get like partial uses which throws off the counts um, if you're boxing up something to sell to somebody you don't actually box up a partial use one that then the person gets upset with so i recommend having that and then i recommend having at least two sorters one got two other sorters one that has like your harvests and then one that has other stuff you can break it into more if you want but i think you should always start out with at least two that way you don't get super large sorters really quick because if you ha you can only have 150 boxes in a sorter well that's the recommended level because after that people start to have issues where it just overloads the scripts with too much memory trying to remember the names of all the different boxes and whatnot and so yeah so i recommend at least starting with the two so now that you've got them resed out and named you're going to go ahead and load them so you can load them in a couple different ways you can either edit the sorter and just drag stuff right into the contents that's more time consuming but it ensures you get it in the right position um, you could also take an item like an apple here hover over and drop it in hold control and drop it in make sure you always drop it in this top left prim if you drop it in any other prim you're going to just have issues so always drop here a third option is to get one of like my box up boxes and send it through that way so you click on the sorter and you say uuid copy that click on the box say other and put the uuid and it sends it over counts down here and it'll end up over here okay so now that that's done um, I'll go ahead and edit the contents so you can see the items are now in the main contents right here all right so then it's as simple as clicking sort so while it's sorting it'll say skipping for any item that there's not a box for it already and then it'll go through and it'll process and make boxes for every item if, if you've got the texture it'll make it if it doesn't it'll say like right here you can see it says do not own fertilizer don't own broccoli basket those ones weren't included because they're not part of the original ones um, so it'll make a blank one for it if it if you've already registered the texture for it it automatically puts the texture so as you can see right there i've got apple basket barley basket and then the other two are blank because they didn't have the textures for them and then water buckets are there so that gets loaded up like that all right so let me go ahead and do the other two sorters here so uuid then other paste submit let that one run and then get this one's copy other submit and that runs over then i'll just go ahead and i'll show you how this hub work this hud works i can click the hud and i can say sort and all my sorters will start sorting this one had nothing to sort so it doesn't sort it these two started sorting so that hud is really nice for sending commands to different things it also has um re-delivery to let you re-deliver and then the pick owner is if you want to if you are someone else's admin you can actually select set your hud to talk to their sorters so you can send commands to somebody else's sorters that you're a admin for and then all these other buttons really just you know depend on what you're doing recounts to recount processes for updating textures after you purchase them reset web views for the web view um, cleanup makes it sure that the items that are in the boxes actually belong so 
Um, but yeah, so there's some commands you can issue to all your sorters that way. So this is finishing up. As you can see my process, I don't have any textures because I didn't have them in, you know, any of the any of the process ones aren't part of the starter bundles, that starter pack that you got for free. So you're gonna have blanks to begin with. You have to go in and purchase them. Um, let me just show you quickly how to switch a theme, just so that's a often asked question. So if I want to change this over to my pick theme instead, you click on that and you go to the theme button. And then you say change, because I want to change it over to a different one. And there's all these choices, the v two VFD ones, are the only ones that you can get from my site. Everything else is a third party. Um, if you are a patron, the $10 patron, you do get access to the VMD personal, which is another theme. So there's up to three VMD themes. So I'm going to go ahead and pick VMD pick. The top prims change. Now, any new box that gets made will be made in that theme. But if you want to change your existing boxes over, the first time you change it, I recommend you go menu and then theme and then process all. Because process all will change blank ones to match the theme. Um, process just changes if it has the texture. So as you can see that switched over to the new theme. So I'm going to show you how to make one, how to do one, or just one crate. I'm just going to do it really quickly because there's a whole video on how to do it. So this part's just going to be a breeze by, but I'm going to show you how to get a new texture on your sorter. So if I click this, I want broccoli baskets, right? So I come to my sorter, I'm in crate purchasing, and I want it in the VMD pick theme. Make sure you always double check your theme. And I'm just going to type in here, Brock, there's broccoli basket. I click to buy. I'm going to purchase it. It's purchased. Refresh list. Now, just to show you if you guys are wondering if you own the texture or not, you come to your sorter here and you go crates owned. It lists what you own. As you can see, that broccoli basket, I purchased it in the VMD pick, but not in the VMD. So I don't own it in VMD, but I do own it in VMD pick. All right. So now that I own broccoli, I can click on that crate and hit crate theme and it switches over and there's the broccoli basket. So yeah, that's the basics of how you set up the sorters. Um, if you need other any other questions on it, you can always message me. Um, I would also recommend you read over the manuals because I tend to not answer questions that are blatantly obviously answered in the manuals. So make sure you read them and then look for other videos for different things like, like purchasing crates. There's a video for that. Um, also other videos like using different products. All right, well, I will see you guys in the next video.